Welcome back to the show, everybody. James Rule XRP. I have an amazing video for you. I had an amazing interview earlier with Archer of XP Market. And believe it or not, I created a James Rule XRP token on the platform. We're also going to look at the reason Gary Gensler needs to be fired immediately and all of the suits that have been filed against crypto companies for the last two years. And we're also going to look at the announcement of two directors that have been announced that are onboarding with Asvada. Asvada is bringing real world assets to the blockchain in the form of real estate. Stay tuned. Follow me on X at Rule XRP. I'm a crypto teacher. None of this is financial advice. If you'd like to know more about me and about my affiliates, click on my link tree below. And yes, the James Rule XRP meme token link is there as well at XP Market. Let's go. Taking a look at the total crypto market, Bitcoin is continuing to rise in value. The current market cap on this Sunday evening is $2,829,000,000,000. Bitcoin is currently at $80,601. Ethereum is at $3,190. Solana, $210. XRP, $0.59. Cents. Cardano, $59.7. XLM, Stellar, almost $0.11. Cents. HBOR, a nickel. VeChain, two and a half pennies. Algorand, $0.14. Cents. Do your research. Get excited. Wait until you see what is going to happen by the end of this year in the first quarter of next year. I'm, I'm getting it out to the universe. Some amazing things are not only happening this weekend. Wait until you see what happens in the very near future. If you didn't get a chance to see my video interview earlier with Archer with XP Market, check it out. You'll learn more about the XRPL memes, the farming pools, the XPM token, daily task token creation, and own that note. This is XPMarket.com. Archer and the team created this. My wallet is not connected, but they have a DEX. They have a swap. They have automated market makers. They have meme pools. You can check your portfolio. You can check your rewards daily. You can check your airdrops daily. And when I say airdrops, they now have meme pools. And the exciting thing about this is you get daily airdrops. As you can see, I created the James Rule XRP token with the pink flamingo as the uh, symbol. J JRXRP is the ticker. I created it seven hours ago. There are currently 52 holders of the token. The token value is 0 0.0411 and has not even been 24 hours yet. So what I'm going to be doing in the future, there was a total of 1 billion tokens created. So what I'm going to do in the future is have some giveaways. I'm going to give the community a chance to share some things, to get some free tokens. You'll be able to set up uh, the trust line for the JRXRP token. Get excited, people. I'm going to integrate this token into all of my media, and we're going to have a good time. All right, let's look at the SEC. Over the past four years, Gary Gensler, I'm sorry to say, has been a dick. He has been stifling technology, choke point 2.0, him and Elizabeth Warren and all the other goons at the SEC, well, most of them, has been stifling this technology. And if we look at the chair, Gary Gensler, we're going to see the uh, commissioners, Hester Peirce, who's pro-crypto, Carolyn Crenshaw. Mark Ueda is pro-crypto. He actually threw the SEC and Gary Gensler under the bus a few weeks ago in an interview. And then Commissioner Jamie Lazorga. Well, there are going to, there is most likely going to be a new chair at the SEC this year. And if we go to about and we click on divisions and offices, the enforcement director, there is no photo. It's Sanjay Wadha. There is no photo. The other enforcement director left the SEC here not too long ago. It would be like the William Hinman or Bill Hinman of the SEC. 
Good things are going to happen, people. There's so much stuff going on, so many crooked things going on, and there's been so many articles. There's been former members of the SEC saying that Gary needs to go. Well, the SEC shakeup. Pressure builds for Gensler's immediate resignation. The American Securities Association is urging SEC Chair Gary Gensler to resign immediately, citing Trump's election win as a mandate for a new direction focused on investor trust and economic growth. And that brings me to this. There's an article I'm going to show you, and it pertains to since 2020, the SEC, Securities and Exchange Commission, has filed over 40 complaints and cease and desist proceedings based on its claim that crypto assets are securities. The SEC has failed us. The SEC has failed blockchain technology in the United States. The SEC has been crooks. They have regulated by enforcement, and Gary Gensler calls everything a crypto asset security. Here's the article. Thanks to ccn.com. It was written by James Morales. Thank you very much. Edited by Insha Zia. Crypto Wells Notice Recipients 2024. A full list of entities in the SEC crosshairs. And hopefully these will be dropped as soon as possible because Gary has to go. The SEC has initiated legal proceedings against six crypto firms this year. It has issued a further six with Wells notices warning that they're under investigation. However, the regulators enforcement actions have slowed since last year. So far in 2024, the SEC has instigated legal action against six digital asset businesses. It's issued Wells notices, and that's basically what it's saying. Seven companies accused of unregistered securities offerings and trading. Since 2020, the SEC has filed over 40 complaints and cease and desist proceedings based on its claims that crypto assets are securities. Let's go. This year. Immutable. October 31st, 2024, they received a Wells notice. Well, they have vowed to fight any lawsuit. Crypto.com received a Wells notice on October 8th. Counter sued the SEC. Prove it, Gary Gensler. Prove that digital assets are securities. Robinhood, May the 6th of this year, Wells notice received, asserted that cryptocurrencies aren't securities. Geosyn mining charges filed. No response. Consensus, Wells Notice received, countersued the SEC. Uniswap, Wells Notice asserted that Uni is not a security. The default token on Uniswap, Uni. Crypto effects, charges filed, no response. Shape shift, settlement agreed, paid $275,000. Trade station paid $1.5 million. Rockwell paid $1.2 million. Hyperfund paid an undisclosed penalty. In the latest case, in the agency has issued a Wells notice to Immutable. A Wells notice is the SEC's way of informing a company that is being investigated. However, the regulator isn't obligated to warn firms before it brings charges, and in cases where fraud is suspected, it tends not to. So, Gary Gensler says, come into the SEC, get registered, we'll tell you what's right, and at the same time, we'll send you a Wells notice and sue your ass because we're a government entity and we regulate by enforcement and we're choke point 2.0, and you're not going to see it at the banks. For now. <sighs> In a statement, Immutable said the notice non-specifically alleges violations of securities law and indiscriminately asserts that tokens are securities. Although the notice didn't specify the token in question, Immutable said it's most likely referring to IMX's listing and private sales in 2021. While they are a fairly good indicator of upcoming litigation, recipients of Wells notices aren't obligated to disclose them. Therefore, there is always a chance that other crypto firms are in the SEC's crosshairs, but have chosen not to publicize that fact. Uniswap, Consensus, Robinhood, and Crypto.com have all asserted their innocence, arguing that the assets named by the SEC are not securities. Following a precedent established by Coinbase, Consensus, and Crypto.com, even countersued the regulator. Building on 2023's bumper crop of litigation. Now, the 
Ripple lawsuit occurred in December of 2020, and Ripple, up to this point, has spent well over $200 million in lawyer fees. I repeat, since 2020, Ripple has spent over $200 million in lawyer fees. Although the SEC has been busy investigating the crypto sector in 2024, it will be difficult to top last year's enforcement actions. In 2023, the regulator filed lawsuits against 31 crypto firms it accused of violating the U.S. securities laws. Regulation by enforcement, they have been getting away with murder and it's time for them to pay the price. President Trump, soon to be President Trump, knows all of this. Some of the most high profile cases involve actions brought against crypto exchanges, including Bexy, Bittrex, Binance, Coinbase, and Kraken. Meanwhile, litigation is targeting Gemini, Nexo, and Celsius centers on crypto lending products. Here we go. December of 2023, Bornbridge Dow paid a $125,000 fine. Kraken asserted that cryptos are not securities, November of 23. Safe Moon founders were arrested. They must have screwed up and done something very bad. Coin deal. Mike Glassby sentenced to six years in prison. Yes, he must have done something really bad. Uh, James Michael Wines, uh, no response. Lufkin Advisors, no response. Stoner Cats. NFTs paid a million dollar fine. Uh, Linux Financial agreed to a cease and desist order. Jeremy Kosky, none. Impact Theory paid $6.1 million. Let's go down to Pulse Chain. Coinbase countersued. They're not taking this shit from the SEC. Binance motion to dismiss. CoinMe paid a $3.92 million fine. Bittrex motion to dismiss. Bexy uh, exchange was shut down. Justin Sun motion to dismiss. And if we keep going, Paul Pierce paid $1.4 million. Uh, Genesis paid a $21 million fine. Charges alleging unregistered security offers, <clears throat> offerings were directed at the issuers of Tron, BitTorrent, SafeMoon, Blazor, and other cryptocurrencies. NF NFT creators were also targeted, extending the same logic. It has applied to dozens of cryptocurrencies. In 2023, the SEC filed lawsuits against Stoner Cats and Impact Theory alleging that they sold unregistered securities. Gary Gensler needs to go to prison. Elizabeth Warren needs to go to prison. The banks have been paying their asses off for the last four years. Elizabeth Warren made it to the Senate again. The banks are going to continue to pay her until Trump runs her off, until Trump runs Gensler off. It really irritates me because these lawsuits, these uncalled for lawsuits have affected all of us that have invested in crypto in the United States, especially XRP. Now let's get excited. Asvada, I am a co-owner of Asvada, a co-creator, co-owner. Grow your property portfolio with Asvada's advanced blockchain tech. Acquire, transact, and generate rental income with sophisticated tokenized real-world asset properties. Follow Asvada at asvada.com. Check out their link tree. You got the website, the ambassador program, the early bird airdrop, and the Asvada white paper that goes into detail. I'm really excited today to announce a new director. We are announcing Dr. Elizabeth Lewis as joining as Vada's board. She is now our new director of healthcare and med tech investments with her extensive experience in real world asset investments and innovative med tech startups. She's set to drive groundbreaking advancements at Isvada. Join us in welcoming Dr. Lewis. Welcome to the team. On the Esvada's website, it goes over her bio. It goes into detail. Congratulations. Welcome to the team. We are also introducing Brian Mellett to our Director of Business Development and Partnerships. With 25 years in med tech, real estate, and venture investment, Brian's expertise will drive our growth and innovation. Join us in celebrating this exciting addition to our team. Welcome to the team, Brian. There's also a bio that I'll leave a copy of everything below because the team is growing. We're getting all the legal aspects out of the way. We're making sure the DAO and everything else is created properly. The tokens, the uh, utility tokens on the platform that are going to be used with the real estate, real world tokenization of real world assets. 
This is the Esvada team, esvada.com forward slash team. David is founder and CEO. Enzo is co-founder and CEO. Myself, co-founder and CMO. Sebastian is co-founder and CTO. And here we have Roger Odge, who was just announced here recently as president of the board. Congratulations. Brian Millett, director of business development partnerships. Congratulations. And Dr. Elizabeth Lewis, director of healthcare and med tech investments. Welcome to the team, everybody. We all have LinkedIn accounts. I will leave a copy below so you can go in and click on our LinkedIn bios. We are legit. We're not a rug pull. Check us out. Be sure to subscribe to the James Rule Crypto Show. I'm really excited to get this news out to you. This is my third video of the day. I'm really excited. Follow me at Rule XRP on X. Subscribe to the James Crypto James Rule Crypto Show. I'm tongue twisted. And have a great week. Let's see what happens with crypto. My name is James Rule XRP. I'm out of here. And guess what? I told you so.